Hi Capricorn, this is your January 17th through January 23rd weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the King of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles and uh, the Fool, and we also have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces or a Fire Sign, Aries, Day, or Sagittarius. Um, yeah, so this King of Wands, the first card that came out in the uh, potential outcome, is the person you're dealing with most likely a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If they're not a fire sign, this is somebody who is embracing the energy of the King of Wands, somebody who is fiery, passionate, somebody who stands out of the crowd, somebody who takes action, you know, could be a very attractive individual. <laughs> the problem here, which will get resolved very quickly, but the problem here is that the first card that came out in the spread is the Four of Pentacles, and we also have the Moon on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Moon, by the way, is the personal Pisces card. You could be dealing with a Pisces. But together with the Four of Pentacles, the Moon card, this is, I think, you holding back. Um, and it could be um, separate, independent from this person. Perhaps this is your energy right now where you're a little bit sad, you have fears, or you're just not in the mood to get into any relationships, you are, you know, holding back with that Four of Pentacles and uh, you're being a bit emotional. Perhaps something happened recently in your life, perhaps you just got out of another relationship and that's why you're remaining closed off. Or for some of you, perhaps the first date the two of you go with this King of Wands, um, they're not going to present themselves as somebody whom you can trust or somebody who is uh, a commitment type of uh, person, right? So that's why you're a little bit emotional about it because the moon, you know, it's a, it's one of the most emotional cards in the tarot deck. The moon is all about fears. Uh, perhaps you are a little bit afraid. You're uncertain about what this person's intentions are, right? Something among those lines. Either one of those two scenarios. But the good news is that all of that is going to become a thing of the past. And I think this King of Wands is going to show you just uh, how much they want to get the show on the road with you. Because uh, right next to the Four of Pentacles, we have two Aces, one clarifying the other. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, and I think this is this King of Wands making their move, right? A very decisive, very um, type of a... <clears throat> It's a serious move, that's what I'm trying to say. When one ace is clarified by the other, this person means business, right? The ace of swords, perhaps this is them just having a very straightforward conversation with you. They'll let you know exactly what they expect of you, what they're looking for, and that is a commitment, right? And uh, the ace of pentacles is the offer itself. The ace of pentacles is a very serious ace. You know, it always comes from somebody who is serious, somebody who is ready to start a family, somebody who is ready to settle down, right? So one ace is clarified by the other. That's that's very assertive, very determined energy. So it's like you'll be feeling one way about this person before the two of you go on a second or a third date. But once the two of you get through that date, it will completely change for you. I think you'll be like really welcoming this person into your life. Um, we have the Ten of Cups right there in the middle, so that's what they will be talking about, right? The Ace of Pentacles, by the way, sometimes comes through as a card of a proposal. Um, but it, I don't think it's going to be a proposal right away, but it will eventually lead to that. The Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. The Ten of Cups is one of the commitment of marriage cards. It's actually one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. And uh, you see how in the potential outcome we have the King of Wands with the, the Queen of Pentacles and the Fool. The Fool is all about taking a leap of faith. And the Queen of Pentacles, that is you. Right next to your King of Wands, right? The Fool is you're just going to go for it. And I think you're going to feel great about it. You will. Because uh, what I always like about the Fool card, um, I know it's partially blocked, but in the right bottom corner of the Fool card there is the Sun. 
And if there is a Sun card in the Tarot deck, and it's the happiest card in the deck. So I think you'll be really happy that the two of you are finally on the same page, that they had that conversation with you, that they let you know what they want with you, and uh, that just happens to be a commitment of marriage with that Ten of Cups. You know, it's a, like I said, it's a family card. If having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have children together. So yeah, you're, it's a bit of a roller coaster ride, to be honest with you. Right, and it could be partially their fault, uh, and by that I mean if they're not really clear about what they want with you for the first couple of dates, it's that will you know put you in the energy of the moon and the fourth pentacles card. But once they um, you know talk to you, once they make you rest assured <laughs> that they are the real deal, that they're serious, then you can move forward with them and that's what you're gonna do. Alright, really happy for you Capricorn, congratulations. Capricorn, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Nine of Cups and we also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. I think I'm connecting with those Capricorns, uh, the last ones whose birthday it's going to be this coming week. <laughs> Happy birthday Capricorn if you're celebrating this week. But I do see here um, gifts and some, some kind of a new beginning, a very exciting new beginning, right? First of all, the devil on the bottom of the deck, that is you Capricorn, that is your personal card. The page of pentacles, it's usually something tangible, something you can touch, so I do think that a, it's a gift right coming from your significant other and that gift will be uh, will symbolize some sort of a new beginning with the ace of wands right so they will perhaps pay for something for you to take a class for uh, you to do something by yourself or together with them but you're gonna get really excited about it the ace of wands is a card of excitement it's a card of inspiration it's a card of a new beginning Right, then the, the Nine of Cups right next to the deck, this is a card of a wish come true. <laughs> it's a card of a wish come true, it's also a card of, um, you know, personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So whatever they're going to give you, perhaps you've always wanted it, or um, perhaps once they do it for you, you'll realize, wow, yeah, that's going to be something amazing. Let's do it. Let's get this show on the road. Right, so yeah, expect something exciting for your birthday. If it's not your birthday, Capricorn, I, 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 you could still play out for you. <laughs> it is a, still some sort of an exciting new beginning. Something that will make you feel good. Something that will at least put a smile on your face. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Capricorn, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also keep in mind, we're in both Mercury and Venus retrograde this week. That means more excess than usual could potentially resurface. And here comes one of them. We have the um, Knight of Swords, clarified by the King of Swords. We have the Page of Cups. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Chances are you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So yeah, the Knight of Swords, it could have been an air sign. Or it could have been the energy of somebody coming back from the past rushing in. And I specifically clarified the Knight of Swords, and we got the King of Swords. <laughs> so, like I said, chances are it is an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of uh, air in their, uh, in their chart. We also have you in this spread, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, right next to the deck. I think that's you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Page of Cups, uh, this is them apologizing to you. This is them buying you flowers, buying you something, doing all kinds of nice things for you. And the fact that we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, which is a Commitment of Marriage card, I think you're going to give it another go. <laughs> I think you will. The Ten of Pentacles is a great card to have. It's a card of a very stable, financially secure Commitment of Marriage. A very long-term type of a deal, just the way you like it, Capricorn, right? You're an Earth sign and this is an earth sign indicator, right? So I think this person is ready to play by your rules. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I chances are you'll be getting back together with this person. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Capricorn, this week. We have the Page of Swords, we have the Tower, 
We have the Two of Pentacles clarified by the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, and we also have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you will either receive a message or some information will become known to you. You may stumble across it yourself. And uh, as a result of that, you will have to make some sort of a decision, right? Um, so yeah, the first card I came out is uh, the Page of Swords. It's either a message coming in or perhaps you are doing your own research. The Page of Swords could be somebody who is looking for something, digging for something. So it could be intentionally or unintentionally, you know. So you will be in the possession of some sort of information or message. And it's all of that is going to be very unexpected. The tower and the next card over, in this case, I think this is something that happens unexpectedly. The three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way here, right? This is a card of a work business uh, finances, a workplace environment or business place environment, right? And uh, the two of pentacles right next to the tower, clarified by the queen of pentacles and the six of pentacles. So that is you right there having to make a decision um, in regards to that message or in regards to that information that you came across. Um, that's pretty much what I got for you. You will probably have to act quickly because the tower card is something that happens unexpectedly. It's a fast energy coming your way. So hopefully it's nothing bad, but um, yeah, it's going to be a tough decision. It could be a, a job offer coming your way, and then you'll have to act quickly because it'll be like hot, right? You'll have to decide on it very quickly because it may disappear. A friend of yours or uh, somebody whom you used to work with will reach out to you and say, hey, this job just landed on my lap and uh, they're hiring at my company. Would you like to join our company? Something among those lines. You know, I don't see anything critically bad, but the thing is you'll have to... Uh, decide quickly, you know. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Capricorn, this week. We have the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Sun, and we also have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. This is an improvement spread. Something is about to get better. You will no longer have to do something. It's like you're being released from something, right? From some sort of a responsibility or burden. And it's been around for a while, and perhaps you thought you will never get rid of it, but this week, surprise, surprise, it's going to become a thing of the past, right? So the hangman on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, this is a card of a stagnation, this is a card of nothing happening. So I would just have to assume whatever it is you're letting go, finally letting go, or something that lets you go, you know, it's been around for a while. The hangman is also a card of a sacrifice, so you've been sacrificing your time, your energy, what have you, right? Uh, the first card that came out is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is that burden, responsibility, that obstacle. Whatever it was, it was slowing you down, it was holding you back, it was not allowing you to move forward. Or you had to constantly do something, right? But the good news, it's coming to an end. The Ten of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a card of an ending. And uh, there you are in the Six of Swords, the next card over, moving away from it. The Six of Swords is a card of an improvement, it's a card of a rough patch being over, and what you're moving towards is the Sun. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. <laughs> you know, you're finally letting something go, or something is letting you go, and uh, that will make you really, really happy. <laughs> I don't know what this is, it could be anything. You know, it could be applicable in so many different uh, situations, but things are about to get better. All right, so yeah, that's what I got for you, Capricorn, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. Once again, happy birthday if you're celebrating. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.